What is shaken, Internet? This is Salt bringing you some a new series, and it is how to heal normal Dragon Soul. Um, I will be trying to put up some how to heal LFR Dragon Soul eventually, but uh, also this is going to be 10 man instead of 25 man. So um, I, there's two series there. There's the how to tank series, which is for the 25 man, and it covers how to tank. This is going to be the how to heal. Um, now, before I really get into this, I want to give you a basic uh, the the basic premise of this series is that I you understand how to heal with your class because every class is very different you know uh, paladin healing is quite a bit different than druid healing for example uh, I'm gonna be a paladin healer and I'll be kind of covering what you need to know when you need to know it how to heal these fights um, this will be normal dragon soul um, and it will be the ten man version of all the fights so uh, I I am skipping trash just on this one because I forgot to film it. But I, I just, uh, you know, whatever. I'm going to get as many of these down as I can. I have the first five bosses um, filmed. So there you go. Uh, as you can see, before I get into it, I'm going to use a uh, heal bot. I think that's what this is called. Yeah, heal bot. And uh, that's, what, that's what I use for all this stuff. So I have my beacon up on the main tank, basically. So what you're going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and cover the abilities of the boss that you need to know. First is Stomp. As you can see, Stomp is going to do a massive amount of AoE damage around the boss. Um, so you need to get ready for the AoE healing. So if your group can stack up, that's the best there. As you can see, we're taking a lot of damage. Um, so I'm wasting Holy Radiances right now, but whatever. Um, so what you want to do is you want to get the... Ma if you're a main tank healing, you need to be very careful about uh, the Stomp. Because the Stomp's going to do 200% damage to the tank and the nearest person. Which is generally the off tank in this fight. So um, you're going to have two tanks sitting there and taking double damage the entire time. So obviously the tanks are going to have to get healed up pretty pretty quickly. And uh, that crush armor debuff is going to make increase their damage more. So the tanks will be taunting back and forth. You need to be um, on the healers if you're or on the tanks if you're going to be healing them. Um, obviously then they had the, this black blood phase. The black blood phase is pretty simple as far as um, as far as healing go. Uh, the just you know nobody should be standing in the black blood uh, you're gonna have line of sight issues um, it's a really good time to uh, top everyone off though if everybody runs to the same spot you definitely have like free healing time there's gonna be no damage or very light damage there so topping off is essential during the uh, the black blood earthen vortex phase um, other than that the only other mechanic is gonna be the resonating crystal the resonating crystal is going to be a bad mechanic though so the stomp is the number one big damage mechanic that you're going to have to deal with. The re resonating crystal is the other one. In 10 man, three people, so preferably three range DPS, need to run over to the crystal as close to the as close to the crystal as possible. The closer they are, the less damage they're going to take. So as you can see there, um, it is nice because when they're really close to the crystal, uh, you can actually do your AOE spell right on top of them. Um, and you heal them up. So see right there, they took a whole bunch of damage, unfortunately. The crystal's down. It's behind heal bot, but you can see them back there. Um, they're all standing really close doing damage to the boss. And when, as soon as the crystal explodes, they need to be healed up. So I actually start casting Holy Radiance to where it, uh, it hits them just before, they, uh, just before they blow up on the crystal. Um, I'm not doing great here. And as you can, if you look down in the recount on the numbers at the bottom... I'm a terrible healer, so I really shouldn't be giving you advice. But uh, that's the core fight mechanics of this. You're going to have to watch out for line of sight on this or earthen vortex because you want to top everyone off during the black blood phase, but you have to be, um, I mean, they have to be close to you before you can top them off. And unfortunately, people are gung-ho and run into the black blood morons. <laughs> Whatever. So either way, um, that's that pretty much covers uh, the core mechanics of this fight, though. Uh, so tank healers are going to watch out for Stomp. Stomp's going to be the big tank healer thing that you need to uh, watch and avoid. Um, and there's going to be double damage on the two main tank on the two tanks that are you know should be stacked up. So you will need to be uh, healing them pretty heavily through Stomp. Um, but you do need to remember that Stomp does AOE damage to everyone. So if everyone can stack well, which we're not stacked very well right now, but if you stack well, the, the stomp can really be AoE healed and the, um, the tank heals can do that, can, can be um, in conjunction with the AoE healing. 
Uh, the resonating crystal is going to be the other thing. You want, like I said, you want um, three people to run over there, and three people are going to take damage. Uh, if you can, put some AoE uh, dots, or on, no, not dots, hots, heal over times. You want to put heal over times on them before the resonating crystal is right there. I just exploded because somebody did not run to the crystal. That did a ton of damage to me, and I almost died. <laughs> Yeah, so people were not close to the, uh, to the, uh, thingamajig at all. So th if you're really far away from the resonant crystal, it will deal a massive amount of damage. So you want those three range to be on there. Um, and if you're having a tr hard time healing them, you need them to get, uh, closer. Like, they need to be on the crystal. Uh, if they're on the crystal, it'll do minimal damage. If they're not on the crystal, it's gonna do quite a bit of damage. So, that's, that's all... Uh, for the fight, um, you know, really, it's as far as healing goes, it's stomp and resonating crystal. That's all you need to know, uh, ev and top everybody off during black blood phase. Otherwise, you're good. Um, so that's that is the first in the series, and hopefully you've enjoyed this. Uh, I will continue the series because I do have at least the first five bosses, and um, hopefully this will cover ten man and all your healing needs. So. Uh, as always, you keep it salty, Internet.